Well, the dust has settled. As you can probably hear, my voice is um, <laughs> is on its way back, but it's still not fully back. Um, I'm back home from Anfield after watching our Everton women go to Anfield yet again. I'm coming away with all three points. Um, there's not many times in my life that I go to Anfield and I, and I leave that place happy. But three times in my life I've gone to watch Everton women and three times we've won. And every single time... The players have just epitomised everything that I that I want to see in, in Everton teams. The fight, the passion, the um, the never never give in, never say die attitude, the quality on the ball, the quality defensively, the quality going forward. It was everything. It was it was all there today. Um, the team to a player was absolutely outstanding, outstanding. And uh, you know we suffered an early blow with Lucy Lucy Hope. Um, turning her ankle, I've not seen any replays. Um, I'm hoping it's not, you know, a nasty one. But she was in a boot after the game. But you know, that, that was a big blow for us. Lucy's such an influential player and an influential character within that squad. So it was such a, a big early blow. But Claire Wheeler came on, normally a central midfielder, defensive central midfielder. She came on at left wing back, and honestly, the the attitude that that Claire has is absolutely unquestionable she will fight for absolutely everything if you want to get someone on that pitch who's going to give you their all for your club for your badge then Claire Wheeler is that player um, out of position playing against top class opposition and Claire Wheeler was absolutely incredible um, we had an early scare as well after Lucy had gone off Liverpool looked like they'd, they'd taken the lead Um and the Liverpool players decided to come and celebrate in front of us as well, which was nice. Um, but it was even nicer when we realised that the offside flag had gone up and it had been disallowed. So that was a that was a um, a big warning shot, a big warning sign for us. And the players certainly responded. Uh, Meg Finnegan, our captain, settled down the, uh, the back line. Catherine Vaya was incredible. Natalie Bjorn, probably her best performance so far this season, and she's been you know consistent as always anyway. But she she really stepped up. Um, Heather Payne. At right wing back, <laughs> what a player! And for anyone who hasn't watched or doesn't doesn't watch as many of our games of of the, of the Everton women games, Heather Payne genuinely ra- reminds me of of a young Seamus Coleman. And not, not just the fact that she plays for Republic of Ireland, by the way, but just that endeavour, that that as I say, that battling spirit, the the fact that she's able to to stand the player up, to stand up the full back and go toe to toe with them, um, defensively, you know, she's sharp as anything. Um, you know, and she had a tough time in the first half. A lot of Liverpool's play was coming down that left hand side. Taylor Hines, our former player, Liverpool captain, um, was was causing problems down the left hand side. But Heather adapted so well, and she was absolutely incredible, incredible. Justine van Havermat in central midfield. Um, you know, after after missing the penalty against Leicester as well, I, I think Justine would would probably um, would have wanted to to prove a bit of a point. Although her her, her performance against Leicester was top class today, she stepped up a level. She was absolutely incredible again. Um, you know, she she dominated that midfield along uh, you know alongside Aurora Gali, uh, our Italian in blue, who who never ever ever lets us down. Um, Hannah Benison showed glimpses of quality, but again, in terms of the work rate, uh, Emma Bissell as well. Another, you know, she. We have this this chance that says, um, you know, Emma no, Bissell keeps on moving. Nobody's going to break her stride. Nobody's going to slow her down. And um, that was certainly the case today. Bissell just kept going and going and going. But the breakthrough came from a corner. Catherine Vaya. Um, from the right hand side, left footed in swinging corner to the back post. Phenomenal ball in, phenomenal ball in. And Megan Finnegan rose at the back post to absolutely hammer the ball in with her head. Duncan Ferguson esque. We, we actually sing a song for Megan Finnegan, which is to the tune of Go West, the old Duncan Ferguson chant. And she certainly, you know, she was, um, <laughs> you know, Merseyside Derby. That was always big Dunk's game, wasn't it? We were always so confident going into a derby if we had big dunk on the pitch because we always knew that he'd give everything. And, and Megan Finnegan um, certainly came up with a goal that Duncan would have been proud of today. Back post, bullet header, Everton 1-0. Um, we saw it out till half-time, second half, to be honest. I thought we, we, we controlled the game. Um, Liverpool, obviously, were going to come out and, and try and get an equaliser at least. The fans sort of picked up a little bit. Um, but Evertonians in the stands 
you know, responded and, and we kept singing. As you can hear from my voice, I've got not, I've hardly got a voice left now. Um, but you know, we kept going and kept going and kept going, and the players kept fighting for everything. Catch a snooze made their return, um, which was you know such a welcome return as well because we've missed her so much since the start of the season with it with this hand injury that she's had. But Catch came on, caused them all kinds of problems. Unlucky not to score, she hit the bar. She had another another great effort as well, um, but just caused problems. Tony Duggan as well ran herself into the ground. Karen Holmgard um, came on and and again just went toe to toe with Liverpool's midfield. Um, it was just one of those performances. You couldn't you couldn't genuinely pick out a player of the match because everyone on that pitch just gave it their all. Absolutely gave it their all. Nicolene Sorensen as well. Um didn't mention Nicolene before. Again, she just led the line so well in certain times when she was isolated a little bit, she she was able to, to keep going and, and, and show her quality and as I say, just just to a player, I can't even put into words just how proud I am. Of, of this team um, you know we've had to go through a lot already this season we're only three games in the opening two games uh, we would have felt really hard done by because we felt that we should have had more um, you know we went into t- today's game having lost our opening three games including the Conti Cup game but the players have not let their heads drop the players haven't the, the results don't match the performances and I think today the Everton players players went out there with a point to prove and certainly if you're going to prove a point then what better stage than at Anfield in a Merseyside derby on the cameras on the you know on the Sky cameras? Uh, but to put on a performance like that, it just shows the uh, the mentality of this side and the squad and, and the management team as well. Um, we actually saw Brian Sorensen as we were uh, leaving the car park at Goodison. We we, we parked in the car park at Goodison um, before the game and. We saw Brian and Stephen uh, getting out of their car and sort of went over and gave them a little bit of encouragement. Um, probably can't repeat the exact words I used, but <laughs> I'm sure you can imagine considering we were about to head into a game against Liverpool. But um, but Brian promised us that he would he would try everything. You know, he would give everything to to get that win, and and he didn't let us down. He, you know, the, he's he's gone to Anfield twice now and won twice. Um, and let's be honest, you know, let, let's be realistic. This season will not be um, will not all be based on going to Anfield and winning. Although it's a great day for the supporters, it's a start, and we want to we want this team to push on. We want this team to move forward, and we want this team to show that quality week in week out, and we want this team to start rising the table and, and to get to where we deserve to be, and, and and to get to a position that we are more than capable of getting to. So. I think it's um, another warning to the rest of the WSL today as well that Everton are not a team um, to be taken lightly. Uh, we've got a huge mentality in that squad. We've got huge quality in that squad. Uh, and we're led by a captain, Meg Finnegan, who's been here since she was nine years of age. And she's just scored in a derby for the second year running uh, and absolutely dominated Liverpool's centre forward for the entire game. Someone who epitomises Everton Football Club. Uh, so yeah, another shout out to Megan Finnegan. Um, but I say, little warning shot for the rest of the WSL. Everton, we're on our way. Um, in no time, we'll be rising up that table, and we're going to be coming to your, to your ho- you know, to your home grounds, and we're going to be, we're going to be taking points off you. So yeah, massively proud Evertonian here today. Um, I'm, I'm proud of the fans. I'm proud of the players. I'm proud of the football club. I'm proud of everyone. Proud of every single person who was in that, in, in that, you know, say away end. We were stuck in the cop. Um, so yeah, I'm about to go and call a priest for an exorcism. Uh, gonna have a, I'm gonna uh, go for a wash for an hour to try and get the uh, stench of the cop off me, and um, <laughs> and I'm gonna enjoy my evening. Um, and I hope every Evertonian out there uh, does too. Um, obviously, the men's team go back there next week in the Premier League. So let's hope. That they can uh, they can repeat the performance of the, of these players today because as I say, I couldn't be prouder of them. Um, they deserve all the plaudits. They deserve all of the uh, the press that they're going to be getting, um, and they deserve all of our love from every Evertonian out there. But for now, that's me, Peter McFarlane, reporting for the Blue Room. Up the toffees. <laughs>